Hola amigos, what is up? This is Tales of Firebaga, and welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi's Woolly World! In the last episode, we cleared up World 5, and in today's episode, we're going to the fire and brimstone, or brim fabric, I guess, of World 6. And this is probably gonna be the part where I start getting angry at this game, because World 6 is a bit more difficult than World 5, and World 5 already had some pretty difficult stuff to it, but... I love those glowing lights, too, and that... fucking pencil there. It's all great. But regardless of any of that, let's start up World 6-1, Lair of the Smooch Spiders. I do not want to get smooched. No smooching, please. Let's get into this. Alright, so this stage is going to introduce us to a new gimmick with these climbable webs, and it's going to introduce us to a new enemy type, the Smooch Spider. I'm going to ignore it for now, however, because there's actually something up here, namely the first wall of the stage. Alright, now let's grab you. So these these walls, if you've played, ever played like the first fortress of Super Mario World, you're probably familiar with these kinds of walls. It's pretty much like that. But these smooch spiders on the other hand are an interesting enemy. You can do a lot of things with them. Mainly eat them and spit them back out at their friends. Just like you do with most things. Let's go on that. And keep on trucking. There we go, hover over here, and eat. There we go! It's flower numero one of the stage. And we have access to something over here, maybe? No. But there is a web up there, so we can always access that. So spooch spiders actually come in two types as well. There's the small ones, and the big ones. Nothing hurts the big ones. I can throw an egg at it. Everything's fine. I can throw a big egg at it. Let's get that big egg out. Oh, no. Take my word for it. Big egg doesn't also... It... It don't work. It don't work. You can't kill them. Anything. Very, very resilient people. Let's grab that for some hearts. Lovely, lovely hearts. Could always use more of those. Aw, they're giving out hearts too. That's lovely. Well, I'm giving out, uh, webbed balls. It's like Spider Man in Marvel vs. Capcom. Web ball! Spider swing! Man, Marvel vs. Capcom 1. I love that game to death. But I'm so fucking bad at it. Like, even worse than I usually am at fighting games. I'm terrible at Marvel 1. Marvel 2? Eh? Marvel 2 is very different compared to Marvel 1. I love Marvel 2. Or at least the bit of it I played at Magfest. But at the same time, it's still not a game that I'm really that good at. I could talk about my Marvel Magfest stories, but it's not really that important. Let's grab that. Okay, so we're doing four stamp patches, two flower or one flower and two wools, okay. I've gotta avoid these spikes. As much as I wanna avoid smooch spiders, I also wanna avoid spikes. Smooch spiders are bad, spikes are worse, because you have to start the stage over again. Wanna be careful, and let's go around here. Got the beads. Oh god, this part. There we go. Let's grab the kill, and there we go. Alright. 
Get the rest of the beads there, and we are... We're laughing, pretty much. Because that's about one-third of the stage done. We've got full health and everything... Uh, gonna stock up on eggs, actually. Eggs, pretty important. There we go. Part of a nutritional breakfast. Let's be breakfast, boys. Or girls. I'm not gonna judge if you want to be a breakfast girl instead of a breakfast boy. Girls are good. Boys are good. Everything is good. Everything is great with the world right now. Except not everything. Also, I'm on a wall. That's pretty fantastic right there. Let's go up. There's nothing up there. It's weird, though. It's kind of got that little alcove there, so you'd think that there'd be a secret there. But there's not. It's just, uh, just for stuff. Uh, shoot, why do I get the feeling like I'm missing something over here? I am not. I am not. I am just an idiot. Okay, well, it's better to, better to confirm that regardless. Oh god. Okay, let's... Grab you, spit your web, that, there we go, there's the third flower at the stage. How are we doing on collectibles? I'd like to survive first, and then check. Let's see, three flowers, two walls, that's, that's not bad. Okay, let's go up here then, I'm gonna ignore the checkpoint for now, because there's a pipe up here, and this pipe leads us to a spider room. Spider room does whatever a spider can. So it probably goes to a corner, hides there and waits. And then when you're about to, you know, reach across your desk for your keyboard, a spider just darts out and is just like, Hey man, I'm a spider. Did you know that? That's what spiders do. That's actually how spiders sound, too. Just, hey man, I'm a spider. There we go. Killed one of them. Ah, uh, I feel like there's something in this corner. There is. Okay, some of the stamp patches we were missing. Alright, and drop down here for another one. Now comes the fun part. Okay, oh boy. Oh. Alright, we made it. We did that pretty handily, actually. Not to brag. But I think I did pretty well. Let's grab this fellow. He looks a bit too happy. Spew him out over the horizon. There we go, another stamp patch for our troubles. Because I'm not too surprised that I'm doing kind of well, because I did have a practice run of this stage beforehand. Because I had a failed recording of sorts. It wasn't necessarily that it failed for like technical reasons. I just wasn't really satisfied with how it came out. And watch, this one probably is going to fail for technical reasons. Because that's, that's my allotment in life. There we go. Papa needed a new pair of shoes, so we bought him one. With all these lovely uh, beads we're grabbing. And we're pretty much at the end of the stage. Because there's just that. And now for the fun part. The big webs. The big time. And just sit back for a while. Gotta be careful, but we got all the stamps at least. So that's good. Now. 
There we go. I think that we got everything. Yeah, that's everything. All right. The only thing I'm missing was uh, full health, but yeah, I'm fine with that. All right, so that's 15 hearts, it's five flowers, five wool, and 20 stamp patches. So we're on our way. The less levels I have to replay due to dumb stuff, the better. Though dumb stuff is pretty much 90% of what I say, so... Yeah, if, I were, if I had to replay a level due to commentary, I'd consider that replaying a level due to dumb stuff. But we got Sunset Yoshi! That's very nice. He's all purple and yellow. Which are opposites, but it works out pretty well. I love... I love that Yoshi's nose has jiggle physics, too. This game is so good. This game is so good! Mm. So let's go into World 6-2. Snag, Stitch, Mountain. Okay, it actually does say that too. I never noticed that. It actually gives you the name of the level in the loading screen. So it's like Yoshi's Island then. <laughs> Alright, regardless of any of that, here comes some pretty unfitting music for World 6. Why'd they pick this music? I understand why they pick, you know, the the overworld music in a game like, say, Yoshi's Island. Because Super Nintendo memory, and there's only, like, four major level songs in that soundtrack anyway. But still, why this? This is the World 1-1 music. Also, I completely glanced over a new enemy type we have here, too. Welcome to Snag Stitch Mountain! Home of Snag Stitches. Just throw an egg at them and you'll be fine. Let's grab that and... Get that flower. I wonder if I can actually... Yeah. There we go. Everything's fine. Everything is fine and dandy in the world tonight. Well... Okay. I'll admit that was more of a pretty lucky shot than anything, but let's get into that pipe. The golden pipe of our dreams. And enter a transformation stage. And what's our transformation this time? We get Umbrella Yoshi. Been a while since we've seen this. All right, as with usual with Umbrella Yoshi, just Hold A to rise, or catch the wind. Just release A when you want to stop catching the wind. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory if I do say so myself, which is why I hit that thing. Because it's so self-explanatory, this stage is so easy. You can actually yeah, grab those. And then, come on, come on, go down there, thank you. No, I... Oh. If I was just a little bit faster, I would have had that too. It's not really that bad, it's just the time limit kicking my butt. Maybe I should have just ignore the extra beads and just go for the wool. Maybe. But at the same time, it, I, I, I want money. I want money. In this post-apocalyptic Yoshi world, money is very important, alright? Society that trades beads, it's like Fallout, how they trade bottle caps for everything. What if Yoshi's Woolly World actually is a post-apocalyptic world in which everything was, like, weirdified by the post-apocalypse and stuff? Like, a, a, like Adventure Time! Adventure Time is fucking... That takes place after, like, a nuclear war or something like that. That's why... Oh, God. No! No! Depth perception, why? I was busy talking about Adventure Time and... How the world there takes place, like, after 
some kind of war and stuff and it's exploring some of the I'm I don't know. It's boring shit. You guys already know it. Everyone watches Adventure Time. Almost everyone watches Adventure Time. So it's alright, I don't need to explain anything. Especially because I actually haven't watched that much Adventure Time, to be honest. I mean, I totally have watched a few episodes of that show. Definitely. And not really much more than that, to be honest. Okay. Alright. There we go. Managed to get pretty much everything important from there, so... Boop. Boop. I think I got a bit too distracted there with my talk about the post-apocalypse. My Yoshi theory. But it's only a theory. A Yoshi theory. Is there anything in this alcove? There is! Noise! Oh, there's probably something here, too. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm out of eggs. Shoot. I need eggs in order to do anything here. So let's grab some eggs. Bill Blaster, if you would like to supply me with some bodies, some flesh that I could use for eggs, that would be... That would be lovely. Flesh for the flesh god. You know. Yoshi is the flesh god. Who demands sacrifices. That's why he sounds like a turkey. Huh, there is nothing there. Okay. That's really weird. It looks like there would be something there, but at the same time, I guess there wouldn't be because there's already a hidden alcove on the opposite side, so... I guess that makes sense. Oh, gotta get a tumble guy. So, woozy guy, sorry. Gotta get all the names. People will get upset about Mario Cannon. Lord knows I'd probably be one of those people. Damn it. Oh. Wow, not damn it. I was trying to get under there to see if there was anything on top of the bullet bill, anything hidden like that, but nope, I'm perfectly fine. In fact, I'm more than just fine. I'm great. I'm fantastic. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. Especially because we just got some more wool. There's some sound down there. I think Dad's finally returned home. Just do that. Okay, so I don't need to, like, build jump or anything like that. I just need to throw eggs. There we go. But this would be a great room to restock on eggs, actually. Grab you. Grab you. There we go. We're full of eggs now. We in there. We're making Wesker proud. Shoot that. Okay. So far we're not- oh, never mind. I was about to say, so far we're not seeing very many of the snag stitches here, but... Woe and behold. Actually, hang on. Are you accomplishing anything, Mr. Snagstitch? Or are you just there? You're just- you're just there, okay. I'm content with that. Another checkpoint. Pretty good checkpoint placement so far. Can't be- can't be too mad. Also got a thing in the background. Everyone loves things. Fire another bullet bill. And... Ooh. I've got- I've got options, but I 
don't feel that good about the options. Hang on, hang on. It was worth a shot. See if there was anything up there. Alright, well, if I've got options, then... Oh, that's why I have options, because there's a thing. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, well, there's a stamp patch, and... More stuff. It really looks like there's something up there, too, but I don't think there is. I could be wrong. I am, I am known to have been wrong in the past. Where did that bullet bill come from? Probably over there. Now that I think about it... Am I making a terrible mistake by going up here? Okay, there's a secret passage with a flower. No, okay, I'm not. Grab some more eggs, and away we go. Let's keep ourselves locked and loaded. Snag stitch, yo! There we go. Oh, there's where the bullet bills were coming from. There are bill blasters here. Uh, how are we doing? Missing a wool so far, at least as far as I can tell. Hmm. Hmm. Suspicious. Very sus- Aha! Oh, but now I got a thing there, too. Okay, that's lovely. Let's grab you. Grab you again. Gotta stop meeting like this, Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill. Oh no! We actually had a talking Mr. Bill dog toy for our old dog once, and it was great because you'd wake up in the middle of the in the middle of the night to hear "Oh no!" coming from coming from downstairs. I don't know. I thought it was funny. Anything, anything... No, okay. Are you anything? No, apparently not. We're still missing two wolves, though. Or are we? Yeah, we're still missing two of them. I... I don't like this. Oh, there's one of them. But shoot, where's the other one? It has to be somewhere stupid. It has to be. Oh god, camera change. Depth perception. Yeah, the fourth wall. Man. I thought we were doing well, too. That level took a while as well. Fucking spider level. It'd be that easy, but. Climbing a mountain, going for a jolly hike? Couldn't do it. Couldn't hike good enough. But we got a bonus game! With Fluff and Puffins. Let's grab as many beads as we can. Get some fruit, get some fructose in our diets, get some citrus. Aw. Oh, not enough citrus. Clearly we need the citron from Plants vs. Zombies 2. That's the only way. PvZ 2 is a good game, to be fair. I don't know, I like it. I like it a lot, and I like the original Plants vs. Zombies a lot too, but... I've been having fun on my phone rediscovering Plants vs. Zombies 2 now that there's a lot more content available for it. And it's really great! The only problem I have with it so far is that the game 
It feel oh god no not this one. Ugh. I was really hoping not to find this level. I was hoping this would be later. All right, here we go. The moose, the lava sluice. Sluice is not a word you ver hear that often. Oh god. These platforms. We're getting funky in here. Everyone needs a funky dinosaur. Alright, so the moose, the lava sluice is a weird kind of maze level, I guess. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure what I'd call it, but regardless, we have to make two platforms, and we gotta be careful. Oh god, we've especially gotta be careful, because there's the aforementioned lava. Okay. No, I want you. Like Savage Garden. Savage Garden wasn't really a band you'd hear much of in modern times. But suddenly it's just like, oh hey, we also did the ending theme for JoJo's Part 4. And it just like, suddenly everyone wants to get in on the Savage Garden hype train. Which is all fine and dandy. They're an alright band. Okay. Oh. I shouldn't have hesitated. That's cool. I'll meet you guys back there. It's a good thing I killed myself. Never mind, that's not really a sentence you should say. It's, it's very tragic. Very tragic. back here and gotta run gotta run now there we go we did it we ran very spryly hmm still feeling a bit apprehensive about the stage not gonna lie oh god needed to get under there got distracted by the small front oh wow Andrew, are you sucking at video games again? It's probably what my parents would be yelling if they actually cared about this. And the answer is yes. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Forgot that these platforms could also bump you out of the way. Damn, really? Really? Okay. We gotta run. There we go. That was a bit spooky, though. Okay, we're back here. Now, there we go. The second flower, and got this bead. There we go. Shit, how do I? Oh, that's how I get up there, probably. Stairs. Stairs are how you get up there. Stairs for up there's. Let's continue along. 
I got these smiley fireballs. Okay, let's go down. Why do I get the feeling there's something up there? Oh, for fuck's sake, for fuck's sake. Damn it. This is why I hate this level. This is why I was dreading this level, because I knew I'd mess up on something really stupid and would have to come back here. Alright, well, since I know we're not going to get completion, we'll try to minimize the damage, I guess. Uh, I said that I was going to get angry in this episode. I, get, I said that this was going to be the start of stages being a big pain in the ass. Looks like I was right this time. Okay. Stuck in here. There's some stuff. There's a winged cloud with a flower. There we go. Alright. Now for platforming. Good thing those fireball things are cute. Oh god. I shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have said anything. Ah, oh, man. This would... This would... Probably be a lot easier if I weren't focusing on commentary, but at the same time, it's like That's the big problem with let's play in general cuz you've got to have commentary You got to keep talking through your let's play Unless you want to do one of those uh, annotation based LPs or caption based LPs, but It's not really that much of a market for those on YouTube is there? I'm trying to think of who actually does uh, caption-based LPing that I know of, and so far the only person I can name offhand would be uh, Shinryu, Shinryu82. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, I don't know. I don't know, coach. Uh, there's something up here. Yes, there is. It's a it's a door. It's a door. Wow. And this door leads us to oh for fuck's sake. Uh I I don't want to deal with getting all those stamp patches. I'm just going to Nope, I can't throw eggs cuz these are blocking my eggs, too. Great. Well, at least we got that guy that respawns. Uh, it's gonna suck. Okay, now. Now. Alright, hearts. Fantastic. I definitely need those. You'd think for such, with, you know, a level with such swanky music, it wouldn't be such a pain in the butt. But at the same time, I guess the swankiness adds difficulty to it. You focus on the music too much, it's too funky. I'm gonna miss a ton of stuff in this level. Oh man. Pretty much, when I go back at the end of this LP to show what we missed, pretty much it's going to be like a second playthrough of this level, more or less. Alright, but now we got the big thing. Go up into the door. And now for the fun part. The quote-unquote fun part. Do you like falling platforms? Do you like lava? Well, now these two are combined. Try not to miss anything. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn. Damn. 
Devil Trivet Omega, damn it. Grab you. I wonder, actually, if I can just keep on getting the... Hang on. Yeah, if I can just keep on getting that Shy Guy to respawn, actually, that'd be good. I can. Okay, so if I need eggs for this segment, we'll go in with two eggs, scrambled, and see what we can get. Again, try not to miss anything. Nope, I missed life. I missed living. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, at least we got that egg back. There we go. How's that for tricky egg shots? Ugh, this is gonna be one of those days, isn't it? It's gonna be one of those episodes where I'm just failing, and everyone can see that I'm failing, because I'm a failure at everything. Especially life. Life is very difficult for me. This place is very difficult. Oh, no, no, no. I was supposed to... Eat... I was supposed to stomp that shy guy. And grab the wool on the way up. Ugh. Damn, how did we do? Well, four flowers? Four flowers and two wool. Huh. So I wasn't missing as much as I thought I was? Uh, I still missed a bunch of stuff though. Bonus game at least. So we'll see how I can fail at this bonus game. Oh man, that really sucked too. We were doing so well, like throughout World 5. I only missed a flower in one stage. Oh, we got this one. Pretty appropriate that we get this fiery one in a fiery world in the Mordor where uh, this world takes place. The Lethal Lava Land. Nope. Alright. Well, we did better that time at least, so that's good. 1700. Not too bad. Alright, and that's 5-3, or 6-3 down. Feeling a bit bummed on that one, but regardless of any of that, we got 6-4, the fortress next. 6-4, 6-5, and 6-6 on next episode, so I'm gonna see you guys later. This is Tales of Rock signing out. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.